The onslaught of the SUV body shape continues and there is a new SUV 500 in town. Well, when I say new, it's not really new because it's essentially the same car with a few tweaks here and there. So this is what Sam thinks about the car and the changes that it has received. It's a quick look at the Mahindra SUV 500. As of now, Indian market is all about SUVs. Every other manufacturer is trying to bring or add a new SUV in their portfolio. But when you talk about Indian manufacturers, the one company that started it all for the Indian customer is the Mahindra. They got loads and loads of UVs and SUVs in their portfolio. But one SUV that was launched in 2011 took the market by storm. It's this one, the XUV 500. <laughs> Seven years after it was first launched, the Mahindra XUV 500 still enjoys the tag of being one of the most popular SUVs sold in India. However, during the last seven years, there have been several launches, and now there is a new crop of SUVs. So, to take the competition on, Mahindra have come out with an updated version of the XUV 500. What is XUV 500? XUV 500 is a well-engineered package. Something that we can say that a value for money when it comes to a seven-seater premium SUV. We know the competition, we know uh, the fact that, you know, if we are talking about seven-seater, then they may not give you a commanding driving position. They give you a van-like feeling. They may give you better ride and handling, but they won't excel in each and every category. And that's what I am proud of this Indian manufacturer. They are able to give you each and everything in a particular given quantity which makes overall a beautiful package. The major update is the new and larger piano finished grille with chrome inserts that makes the front look a tad larger than before. However, it's the new 18 inch alloy wheels replacing the 17 inch wheels that gets one's attention. The larger tires with diamond cut alloys look pretty impressive and the SUV gets a stylish side profile. The XUV 500's cabin has been significantly redone. Tan colored leather seats with quilted cross stitching, soft touch materials on the all black dash, and a mix of piano black and fox aluminium trim on the center console gives the SUV a more premium look. In terms of equipment, the infotainment system has been updated. And there's a techno pack on offer which helps you to connect with apps. The 2018 Mahindra XUV 500 is available with petrol and diesel engines both. The 2179cc diesel engine is the same as before, but has received a host of updates and is more powerful now. In its updated form, the diesel engine makes 155 PS at 3750 RPM and generates 360 Nm from 1750 to 2800 RPM. This has been achieved with the use of the 6th gen electronically controlled EVGT. The only thing that, you know, uh, pinches me a little bit uh, when it comes to uh, driving on the highways is the fact it doesn't ac accelerate the way that, you know, I would love to. It's not that quick and that's because of the curb weight. But otherwise the six-speed automatic is good enough, good enough to keep you occupied. You can do a little bit of soft loading with this. It's an all-wheel drive option, so when that's available, in terms of safety, the 2018 Mahindra XUV 500 comes equipped with disc brakes all around, dual airbags and ABS with EVD as standard, while the top W11 variant boasts six airbags. The new XUV 500 comes in five variants. The prices start at 12.32 lakh Indian rupees and go all the way up to 17.88 lakh Indian rupees. The SUV competes with the likes of Hyundai Tucson, Jeep Compass and Tata Hexa. 